Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 26, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Starting out here looking at the sun, our very quiet sun. No activity to talk about. Coronal hole. Kind of closed up, staying equatorial. No sunspots. Some plasma filaments to talk about. But that's about it. Still a very quiet sun we are monitoring. Thanks to Sol Solar Dynamics Observatory for these images. Overlooking our planet here for the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Most recent, we just had 2.7. And around the planet, we did have an increase, especially in South America. 5.3 here in Colombia at a 69 kilometer depth yesterday. As well, these earthquakes in the Mid Atlantic Ridge, Central Mid Atlantic Ridge. And as well, 5.1 here in Russia. Southern island of Kamchatka. Now that's where Shevelach yesterday erupted quite an explosive eruption. 5.3. It's the largest earthquakes last 24 hours. Except for the 6.0 yesterday in Vanuatu. Let's just go back two days. Because we did have all this act activity throughout Chile and Argentina. And here looking at that 6.0 Vanuatu. Sola Vanuatu. So that's the largest earthquake the last two days. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Watching a lot of deep earthquakes, west side of the Ring of Fire, and as well southeast side of the Ring of Fire throughout South America. It's still quiet zone, North America. Stay aware and prepared. Be ready for anything. Much love to you all. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in to Morning Dew Daily. Overlooking the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent disaster alerts, Floods in Western, Midwestern United States, and as well, Tropical slight Cyclone Ivo. It was pretty stagnant off the coast of the United States, California. Could still penetrate the land and head across the Rockies. And here we're looking at a ramped up Tropical Cyclone Dorian, who's heading straight towards the Dominican Republic as a Category 1 storm doesn't look like it will increase in speed or size but it is getting organized that's for sure also looking at tropical cyclone number 13 who is alive and forming off the east coast of Philippines Luzon Philippines will be experiencing a category 1 tropical cyclone as it heads into Hong Kong and Laos later in the week. Overlooking the latest volcano updates, Fuego, Reventador, Tacono, Sebenkaya, Popo, Senge, as well as Tsuwanasajima in Japan and Shevelach in Russia, which we already talked about earlier. Very large explosive eruption, sending ash and debris apparently 50 to 60,000 feet into the air. Very large eruption. Overlooking storm coverage here. You can see one, two named storms. This is looking at Dorian. Most recent satellite imagery of him. Slowly moving west to northwest. Let's look at our five day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth. Meteo Mike. Overlooking the West Pacific here for a moment. 
as there just seems to be tons of moisture in our air. The rain amounts throughout the monsoon rains through India, through Myanmar, have just been devastating this year. And we could still have a very late typhoon season affecting the Philippines. And watch as a slow moving cyclone heads across Manila and into Laos and Hong Kong. Five day forecast. Stay aware, prepared, everybody. Things are changing dramatically around the world. And now is the time to come together, share our love, share our research, so that we can stay aware and prepared. So we could possibly have two more storms forming in the West Pacific here after Tropical Cyclone number 13. Pretty quiet across the East Pacific as that large storm stolen all of the energy and moisture and wrapped it up into the Hudson Bay. Just looking at Ivo here, tracks, track here showing it dying out on land, but I know that low pressure center is a deep lower level trough. It will penetrate the mountains and develop as a Colorado low later in the week. So watch for extreme storms and look at the size of the storm that is forming across Eastern Canada. Long atmospheric river straight down the Eastern seaboard of the United States and Canada. Watches the Atlantic province here. Atlantic provinces deal with a very wet and windy situation coming up here in the coming days. And thoughts and prayers going out to everybody through South America, these forest fires throughout the Amazon, Bolivia, Brazil. I'm sorry, there is no relief in sight here. We aren't even seeing the normal daily evaporation rain. I don't know what's going on. Is it just too smoky? Across Africa, very hot and dry. We've got quite a dust storm forming off the west coast of Africa. Throughout Russia, early cooling. Overlooking Southeast Asia. Not much to talk about for extreme weather around the world. I want to thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you've made it this far in this video, much love to you all. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.